Well, I'll just show you these. Our solar panels. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but then also we have another eight over there. And um, they really do help keep our electricity bill down. Yay! So um, I just thought I'd just show you what we did. Um, let's say we've got one, two, four, oh, and also we've got number two. As well, I forgot them. We have number two on the side of the greenhouse there. So we're, we're, we're getting about four. 1,800 to 500 watts. Each of these panels around 260 to 280 watts apiece. But also we have on the back here, they're all connected into, f there's um, four arrays of panels going into four grid tie, um, well not these are quite grid tie inverters um, for self-consumption. And um, we have this one here with a WVC 1200s um, these are quite non well, these are fairly non expensive inverters, they're not the best in the world. Um, and if you can see it on there, there's like a little green LED there, and that means it's currently working correctly. And um, we don't have the analysis software or the device for that, it's purely, purely um, guesswork, really. But what we have is basically four solar panels one, two, three, four. So one, two, one, two, three, four solar panels um, going into each of the uh, inverters. Um, so there's one, that was one inverter. That's two inverters. I've got this cam on one of those funny gimbal things. It's a Kion Smooth Coo gimbal. And they're good. You know, they, they, they allow me to move about and the camera stays relatively, you know, steady. But it seems to have a mind of its own <laughs> as well. So, anyway, this is, that's number two. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Number three, which I'm not certain is working correctly because it's constantly flashing from green to red. And it's done that ever since I had it, but because it's Chinese import thing, they're not the easiest things to send back. Um, and then we've got this one here as well. So this was constantly green. That's absolutely, you know, this one's absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, again, okay, so like I say, four, four panels going into, into, into each of those inverters, and they do work, but uh, it's nothing expensive about what we've done here. Okay, you got to buy the um, inverters, so that's, I suppose it's 800 euros, and then, it, then the panels, but the panels we got really cheap. Um, that we didn't buy them new, these are like, <laughs> I think these come off the back, of, literally off the back of a lorry. Um, not, a, no, actually it was a container and they weren't stolen, but what happened to the container was um, the, lo the lorry tipped with the container and there was loads of smashed ones. They, couldn't, they wouldn't sell any of them at that point. They all basically got, I suppose, this insurance job. Um, and then the others over there, um, the nice black Sun Edison panels. They're really good panels, they are. Um, and those ones over there were from something who's the start project, but then they were told they weren't allowed to install them because you could see them from the chateau. Yes. You could sit on their roof in the chateau to really let you use them. Hmm. I reckon it's something to do with Jacob Rees and Mog, maybe. We. Oui. Hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, I've used a very simple wooden uh, framework, literally just driven in the ground. I treated all the posts first with um, basically um, solvent and. Uh, engine oil and what have you. See that's the thing is, I was kind of thinking that if I've got to try and get rid of this stuff, because we live rural, it's going to cost me more to take it to a recycling plant. Not just cost me more, but actually I'm going to be using fuel to get there, because there isn't one local to here for this, for, for where we are. So I might as well just reuse it, you know, you, you know, instead of buying um, some other chemicals to put on them, so they last, um, I just put engine oil and, uh, and white spirit mix together. So I know it's not exactly environmental, but um, in some ways it is, in some ways it isn't. But yeah, I do apologise for that. Um, but yeah, so it's a very simple setup. It's pretty solid. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing that really, well, I think, I think most people can do it, you know. You can buy all these special metal grid work frame things, and that, like a complete system feature. It works, it's so expensive. And if you're looking at actually doing this, the whole purpose of it is really, is to save you money. So, but spending 
probably, I don't know, if you put this lot, maybe a couple of grand on, on the system, I've got to then think, hang on, I need to earn another two grand in electricity to make it cost effective. And uh, whereas this probably costs me 50 euros to actually do, you know, the actual framework. So it's, well, I'm a woodworker anyway, so it's, it's really easy for me. And I think it'd be pretty easy for most people. It's very simple. So, um, yeah, I'd have, uh, yeah, it's a no-brainer, right? Really. But, you know, that'll be there for many years. And if the bottom's right out, all I'll do is I'll put metal stakes beside the posts into the ground. Cause as long as the wind can't take it and blow it away, um, yeah, it should be fine, shouldn't it? So, um, well, there you have it. These are our wonderful solar panels, which provide us with lovely electricity that keep our house nice and light at night. And wonderful, isn't it? We all need electricity, after all. And once you've got it, it's free. The life on solar panels can be at least 20 years. Yes, you're going to get more um, version, you know, better quality ones come out, they'll be more efficient, blah, blah, but they're there. You know, we're, we're easy. this will easy pay for itself because we didn't pay for anyone to install it, we did it ourselves. We didn't pay a fortune for the actual solar panels anyway. Yeah, so it, you know, it makes a lot of sense for us. You know, you've got to keep your eyes open, air to the ground, and make sure that, you know, you can't be do it on a whim and think, I'm just going to order them online and think you're going to save a fortune because you're not going to. Or well, not likely to anyway. Um, but yeah. Okay, so these are 16, 17, 18 solar panels. And the first lot over there, the Sun Edison panels, which are really good quality panels. And these ones are Tata, not so good. They work perfectly well, but the, the thickness of the glass is nowhere near in the Sun is what you've got in the Sun Edison. They're far better quality panels, but they are so cheap, I can't really complain. So there we have it. That is our solar panel array. And um, I'm going to do some more eco budget type solutions there as time goes on. So if you want to check back or click subscribe, what have you, maybe a little hard glass, you'll get notifications when I upload my videos. And uh, yeah, so thumbs up, comment below, questions I'm happy to answer. Um, and like I say, I do answer them. You know, if you comment, I will answer. I will reply to comments. You know, and uh, if it's, you know, if I can help, I will. It's kind of proof, oh yeah. So thank you for watching. Well, you know, look, anyways, over here. Oh, it's there, isn't it? Hello. Hi. Au revoir. <laughs>